Hi guys, this is Todd from the Bible Study Channel, and today I'm going to post another review. Uh, earlier, I reviewed this. I received this in the mail from Church Bible Publishers. It is the compact uh, three-piece brown and black uh, King James Bible, the 115. The 115. <clears throat> and it was a great Bible, but I found that it was the exact same text block, pagination, and layout as this other Bible that I also received in the mail today, which is the Cambridge Personal Concord, which is a miniature version of my favorite Bible, uh, which is the Cambridge Concord Reference Edition. So, uh, oh, if, if anyone wants to see what happened to those uh, little pieces there it is and you can hardly notice when you're just flipping through the Bible but you can see when you lift it up there's that big old chunk out so I went ahead and I just cut it out instead of just cutting it along the line and leaving that loose ripped piece flopping I just cut the whole piece out and so it's that one and oh that's the small one this one was the big one and thank goodness it didn't get to the uh, to the text so still usable no problem at all and then there was the third one so there were the three pages with the problems in them and they've been dealt with and everything else is perfect uh, okay so now you can either get this and I I could have sworn that this the 115 was supposed to be the text block of the Cambridge Cameo. But I find that either the Personal Concord and the Cameo use the same exact text block, or it just it's not the Cameo. The, this 115 from Church File Publishers is the same exact uh, layout and pagination text block as this, the Personal Concord. So without further ado, let's get into this. So here's the back if you want to see that. Okay, now they, the personal Concord is only available in the French Morocco leather. They don't make it in goat skin or calf skin or anything else. It's only this French Morocco. So, I'll get this out here. And the grain is uh, stamped grain, I believe, of course, since it's French Morocco. Here is the edge, the spine of it, okay. And very thick, because this is uh, French Morocco leather, it is a step down from goat skin, from calf skin, from split calf skin, from ironed calf skin, very nice. It's a step down, it's a step above genuine leather because that's probably just some pig skin and it's a step above bonded leather so it is just a paste down and see it is not edge lined wait 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 mm, actually if I look very closely well I just can't tell I don't think it is edge lined. Okay. No, it definitely, it definitely is not edge lined. So, there's that, and you open it up, and here we go. Conquered, reduced, bold figure, cross reference, pronunciation marks, and. Here is the big deal here. This is not printed in Youngblood, by Youngblood in uh, the Netherlands. This is not printed uh, by Cambridge itself, but this is printed by Print Corp in Belarus. So this is, even though Cambridge has their 
name stamped on this. This is not really a Cambridge Bible, and you will see that soon. Uh, no art gilt edging, of course. That's not a big deal. It's got the uh, everything. Actually, it's it's got everything that the Conquer does. It's just reduced in size. Okay, so all the extras the Concord has, this has as well. The um, text is incredibly readable. Incredibly readable. And let me move it over here in the light for an even better look. Okay. Very readable text. I will start to try to find some of the issues I had with this. First of all, you'll notice this. Let me just switch here. Here's a normal page. Okay, flip over here, what do you see? Yeah, it looks like the, the gutter is so much smaller. Everything's going right down there. You try to spread it out, but what do you find? That the pages, some of the pages, I'll try to do this one-handed, are glued together. And so you try to separate them a little bit and you end up as it separates if you can see that it rips a little bit which is a bummer and that's that happens on quite a lot of these so that's a shame but paper quality is great the print quality is excellent the readability is fabulous and I would say it is even much better than not well let me take that back real quick it is not much better than but it is a little better than you can't really see it on the camera on the camera it's not coming through as much but there is slightly, slightly more ghosting on the Church Bible Publishers Compact than there is on the Cambridge Personal Concord. Slightly, slightly more ghosting. And you, but you can see this one, at least here, looks more bold. So it's a tough call. It's a tough call. Um, on this Cambridge, really on this print court from Belarus, uh, French Morocco leather, personal Concord, you've got the um, pages stuck together, glued together a little bit on the bottom, and you've got um, the boldness, the darkness of the print uh, sometimes just getting uh, lighter, especially when you start getting in the new te in the <clears throat> into the New Testament, you'll see that the print starts lightening up quite a bit. It's not quite as uniform as Cambridge's other things, the concordance, and everything is the exact same, like I said, as the regular Concord, just smaller. Uh, but <clears throat> when I first opened up to 1 Corinthians 13, and this comes with just one ribbon. When I first uh, opened up to 1 Corinthians 13 to place the ribbon in and opened it up wide, I heard this snap, this pop. And I looked down here, and this had come apart. You can see this is just pulling away. from from the text block. The cover is pulling away from the text block. It's a real issue. <clears throat> Unlike the church Bible publishers, which no matter how you turn it, or how much you really abuse it, it stays together. It's, it's very, Very solid, very durable, very sturdy. This guy is not so, this print corp work. I feel like 
eventually this may just rip right off of the cover. Another thing as I was flipping through, <laughs> this was quite a shock. Look at that. Can you see that? That is some of the stitching just, just poking up there between the pages. So I bookmarked that so I could, I could show you. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting work. Uh, if I was Cambridge, you can see this is brand new. If I was Cambridge, I would stop putting my name on this, this personal Concord, or I would, um, or I would start printing it myself. The grain is nice. Uh, the Bible is nice. The readability is excellent. But, like I said, uh, unfortunately, there are so many little problems from uh, bad binding, pages being glued together at the bottom. And it's it's fairly common to find these. You know, it's just, uh, it's just sad that you, you're not getting the Cambridge quality if you buy this but it's only it's only 60 or 70 dollars online you can find it really cheap on amazon especially if you're an amazon prime member or something and get free shipping uh there's there's some more you can see that the pages just kind of are together but <clears throat> the reason i bought this is for evangelism. This is going to be a perfect Bible that I can carry around. It's fairly inexpensive and I can use it for witnessing. I can take it out. Uh, it can get beat up in the weather and whatever. I don't even necessarily need a case for this and I won't have to worry about it too much. And so for those reasons, because I bought it as a beat up Bible, as a workhorse for evangelism, I am not going to send it back um, because of these defects because it's coming apart here on the first day or because there's that thread sticking up in Jeremiah or because some of the pages are stuck together. I think that's just the quality that you're going to get if you buy this uh, personal Concord uh, printed by Print Corp in Belarus instead of Youngblood or Cambridge themselves. So what I think I'm going to do actually, because this is so nice, and I can't say enough n nice things about how how soft and and uh, supple and uh, flexible this calfskin is, I'm going to uh, order another one of these, I believe, in just the all black. So it's not a three piece, just the one piece where it's one solid piece instead of one two three and that way um, I won't have this issue where it's loose on top but because of all this uh, binding and overlap and uh, stitching here it makes it a little tighter in the middle so that it's a little harder to to open up here in the middle but uh, and I'm sure because it's just a fluke that um, they happen to have an issue with the printing on this one so I'm gonna order another one and hopefully there's no issue with the paper being cut uh, correctly and uh, besides that so if you want the uh, miniature uh, Concord uh, text block you know if the Concord is your main Bible like it is for me and you'd want to switch back and forth with something where your memory knows what part of the page you're looking for immediately I would probably um, go with this church Bible publishers compact for sure in the in the iron calfskin that's currently the only thing that they offer is iron calfskin that's not true they also uh, uh, offer some type of synthetic calfskin but really um, you want to go with the iron calfskin why go with synthetic this is $50 this will be $50 this one is $50 or to get it in the one piece black um, it will also be $50. So I would go with this because this also has the exact same text block 
as, uh, and let's just go here, Psalm 45 and 46. So you can see that they are indeed the same. Psalm 45 and 46. Put this here, put this here. Okay, so we've got, there you go, Psalm 45 and 46. The majesty of the king, strength in the Lord of hosts. The majesty of the king, strength in the Lord of hosts. Uh, page 605, page 605. Like I said, Psalm 45, Psalm 46 ends in, he breaketh the. Psalm 45, Psalm 46, he breaketh the. These are the exact same text blocks in this uh, cheaper French Morocco version from Cambridge, uh, which is actually by Print Corp, or in this uh, much uh, nice, more, much more nicely bound edition in, uh, through Church Bible Publishers. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, order one of these in one piece, and I think this will make a nice thing to go back and forth between the uh, standard, the regular Concord Reference Edition, the full size, and this. And that way everything will be hunky-dory. And this is only $50, like I said, $50 versus $60 to $70. $80 suggested uh, retail price, uh, manufacturer's, manufacturer's suggested retail price, and $50. So church Bible publishers all the way, I would say, when it comes to these two books. Um, whatever Bible you get, the most important thing is that you read it. That's it. God bless. Amen.